Good afternoon, my name is Brandon Ames and we're here today with Scottsdale Horse Vet, Dr. Mike Sorum, to treat a cutting horse named Spoon. Spoon has a stifle injury uh, with a meniscal tear and we're going to treat it today with Anacel's Animotion. Let's take a quick minute to take a closer look at Equicel's Animotion. Anacel Animotion is cryopreserved and is sent via overnight carrier as a biological shipment on dry ice. Once received, your office should immediately inspect the shipment and inform you of its arrival. On top of the package is detailed handling instructions designed to aid in preserving this biological product. Also inside you will find treatment instructions. All of this literature can be found in our vet access section of our website. Be careful because if you order biological bandages such as Stemwrap or Bioscaf, they may be mixed in amongst the treatment instruction. Because Animotion is a cell-based product containing both mesenchymal and epithelial stem cells, it must stay cryopreserved in either a negative 80 degree freezer or in liquid nitrogen until its expiration date. Depending on the amount of time that the product is in transit, there will likely be a cryogenic indicator in the storage file along with the product. The product can be preserved in dry ice as a temporary storage, but make sure the product is under the dry ice and not on top of it. Also, be sure and use gloves because dry ice will burn you. Animotion is designed to be applied as an implantable allograph with several methods of use. First, it can be used at the point of injury. It can also be used in a regional limb perfusion, either arterially or venously, and finally, it can be used systemically. Animotion is a cell-based product, unlike our acellular animatrix, and is meant for use in severe, acute, chronic wounds like tendon and ligament injuries, joint damage, and age-based osteoarthritis, while animatrix is used in less severe cases as well as performance-based arthritis. The mechanism of action for amnion is inflammation. We commonly say that is our only side effect because amnion will seek out inflammation in all parts of the body. Therefore, all amnion-based products like Animotion and Animatrix require an inflammatory signal that is present at the injury sites. In acute wounds, that inflammatory response is more pronounced. In chronic wounds, the inflammatory response has been suppressed due to tissue healing and scar tissue at the wound site. This means that chronic wounds must be stimulated through mechanical means like needling, shockwave, or exercise before treatment to get a more thorough uptake of the product. In these chronic cases, we recommend not only addressing the wound site, but stimulating the tissue 6 centimeters above and 6 centimeters below the wound, as well as to prevent the possibility of re-injury above and below the newly healed wound site. Normal sedation, animal restriction, and site preparation procedures should be employed per the veterinarian's judgment. The site should be prepared for a surgical implantation, including clipped and cleaned of any gross contamination such as dust or mud. Next. Scrub the area with an antiseptic chlorhexidine surgical scrub for five to seven minutes. Swab the area with alcohol until you see a dirt-free swab after wiping the scrubbed area. Otherwise, continue swabbing until the swabs are clean. All right, now let's prepare the liquid allograft. Confirm that the animotion was properly stored in liquid nitrogen or a negative 80 degree Celsius freezer for less than two years and that it's not past the expiration date. If so, discard immediately. Next, thaw the vial at 37 degrees Celsius or 98 degrees Fahrenheit in a water bath for three to five minutes. Dry the vial and remove the green cap that's on the end of the vial on top. Wipe the vial with 70% ethanol or isopropanol, including the end space where the green cap was. Wipe again and let dry for one minute. Without removing the cap, use an 18 gauge needle to pierce the cap and draw up the allograft into a 1 to 3 ml syringe or load into different syringes as desired. In a case in which more volume is required, the allograft can be mixed with 1% plain lidocaine in a 1 to 1 ratio uh, to minimize discomfort or with saline to expand the volume to ensure an adequate spread of the amniotic material. Now for the actual implantation of the treatment. We recommend wearing sterile gloves to perform the implantation. For the implantation, use a 22 to 25 gauge 1 and a half inch needle for the implantation. For this stifles meniscal tear, we are going to place the product periarticular at the point of injury, not actually going into the joint but just outside the joint capsule. For tendon and ligament injuries, we would place the not place the product directly in the lesions, but 
Place the product perilesionary around the injury site, placing it six centimeters above, six centimeters below, and right at the lesion uh, location. As for bandaging and locations at risk for infection, wrap with sterile gauze and an adhesive bandage. As far as post care, due to the anti-inflammatory properties, the product in some cases is known to have a euphoria effect that lasts for 24 to 48 hours following treatment, making the horses feel overly happy. In all cases of injury treatment, we recommend 48 hours of stall rest followed by hand walking. Due to the desire to maintain the anti-inflammatory signaling, a vet prescribed rehabilitation protocol should include an ever-increasing exercise regimen. Follow-up visits can include shockwave therapy every two weeks to further the acceleration and quality of healing. In over 2 million cases and in all our equine cases, no adverse events have ever been reported due to the use of amnion. Due to the propensity of the equine species, though, to be overly sensitive, in 3% of the cases there have been reports of some injection point swelling as well as some intense pain following the injections that could last up to 72 hours. In these cases, do not use NSAIDs. For pain, use an opioid-based pain medication such as tramadol. We also suggest moving the animal around in which to better disperse the product. Because the mechanism of action for amnion is inflammation, it has been scientifically shown that amniotic treatments will address inflammation in other parts of the bodies and may even rob the treatment area if other injuries occur. In the following weeks, and depending on the injury, the horse will experience one of four healing profiles. In 25% of the cases, the animal will experience almost immediate impact from the product returning to near soundness in two to three weeks. In 40% of the cases, the animals will steadily improve over a course of a six-week time horizon. In another 25% of the cases, the animal will not see any substantial response for four weeks and then experience a hockey stick-like improvement over weeks five and six. In 10% of the cases, though, we simply do not see any substantial improvement warranting either retreatment or a separate course of treatment. Well, wasn't that simple? Finally, an all-natural, field-ready, regenerative treatment that can be used the same day as diagnosis and as an alternative to surgery or simply turning the horse out and hoping that someday he'll go back to work. These affordable products allow you to treat one time and exchange travel and time for margin on the product. We here at Anacel are grateful for your time today and look forward to helping you extend the active life of animals.